Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And Happy New Year! Yes, Happy Church New Year, that is. We restart our church liturgical calendar, the feasts and the fasts that we keep in the course of a calendar year. We are people who are confined to time and space, right? We can't get away from the fact that we are on the planet Earth, and the planet Earth is both spinning itself and making a rotation around the sun. And so we have seasons of the year. And so, too, the church takes advantage of those seasons and assigns feasts to be kept throughout the course of the year to help us to have a well-ordered sense of time and a well-ordered sense of teaching about our Lord and his church. And so our new year starts now with the season of Advent, with our preparation for both the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh as he's born at Nazareth, at Bethlehem, right? The, the, the Feast of the Nativity, Christmas Day, is coming up in a few weeks. But also, uh, it's an opportunity for us to look at the, what has not yet happened, but has been promised, and that what Jesus will return in glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead. So we have a twofold preparation this season. As we do on Sundays, let's take a look at the colic that's assigned, because not only is it helpful on Sundays to think about how the colic sum up uh, the, the lessons for that particular day and give us some direction, but, but some colics, like the colic pointed for today, um, are to be said daily throughout the season. And so this particular college you should get used to, and it should be almost memorized by now if you've been regular about praying the daily office, because throughout the entire season of Advent, we say this every day. There's another colic assigned for Saints Day, you say that and this. On Sunday, you say the colic assigned for the second or the third or the fourth Sunday in college, and you say this colic as well. So every day, morning prayer, evening prayer, Holy Communion, uh, this colic gets said as well. So let's jump in. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armor of light now in the time of this mortal life in which thy son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost now and ever. Amen. Okay, so we, we start out by addressing God, right? Almighty God. Um, and then we go right into our petition or our ask, right? Uh, we give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness, right? As it's getting darker and darker between now and, and just before Christmas, right? We want to cast away the works of darkness, the darkness being the representation of evil, right? And put upon us the armor of light. Fight against the darkness of evil by putting on an armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life, in which thy son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility, the ultimate humility being born as a baby a vulnerable baby in Bethlehem. That's the ultimate humility, right? So again, we're looking forward to the celebration of the birth of Jesus for Christmas. Uh, but then looking forward again, right, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to life immortal. So we're asking God to prepare us for both. And that's what the season of Advent is about. That's why we say the collect every single day during the season. So please take advantage of it. It'll be printed in your, your the Chronicle. You can find it in any prayer book uh, or monastic diurnal, uh, which is what I happen to be reading right now, uh, or your breviary. Whatever book that you use, I'm sure that Colic for the First Sunday of Advent is there and is worthwhile for you to do and read every day. So Sunday worship at St. John's, right? 7.30 morning prayer, 8 o'clock Holy Communion, 10 o'clock Holy Communion, and 5.30 evening prayer with the opportunity to receive Holy Communion. And and no Lions game to have us traffic at the end of the day, at the end of the service, because uh, they played on Thursday. So uh, it should be smooth sailing on your way in and out of church this morning at St. John's. And I hope that your Sunday is full of blessings.